another beautiful day in my beautiful commander quarter. You know, I think I'm going to do something different today. Something I don't think I've ever done before. I'm going to go out and buy some toy army men. <laughs> but let me just check the good old commander pockets here for my commander wallet and just see uh, how much money we have to do that, shall we? Uh, Oh, that's, that's not good. No, that's not good at all. Hey, Plastic Commander. <laughs> What's up? What if I told you that there was a place you could go to where you could find Toy Army Men for stupid low prices? Wait, so you're telling me that there's a place I can go to where I can find toy army men at more than reasonable prices? In fact, prices which are so reasonable you could even argue that I am screwing over the person I'm buying them from? That's right, I'm talking about the thrift store. I always go to the thrift store whenever I'm looking for toy army men that are a really low price. Except lately I haven't been going because there's a lady who works there named Jill and every time I walk through the door she drops down on all fours and starts biting my ankles and I have to tell her, Jill, please stop biting my ankles, it's very rude of you. And she just gets up and apologizes and says it's a trauma response because in 1987 she was bit by a rabid coyote and now she thinks she's going to turn into a werewolf any day now and she considers it practicing. Well, what great information to know. That's right, so go on out there and get them, champ. Get out of here. Okay. Today we're taking a look at three generations of army men which I found at the thrift store. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's take a look at these army men which I've thrifted over the last couple of months. The rain pours, the washer washes, and there are ribs in my oven. It is making for a very good night off of work and a even better night to go ahead and go through a few finds I've made, thrifting and going out to flea markets and whatnot. So, today's a very special episode of my very dirty, dirty table. I need to wipe this thing down really bad, uh, but I really only use this table to um, uh, do videos on and uh, kick whenever I get a little too angry. Uh, at times, but today we are going to be taking a look at a few of the finds I've made going thrifting and going to flea markets and all of that jazz. So the theme that we're going for in this episode of Thrifted is decades. So I have some army men from the 60s and 70s, then I got some from the 90s, 2000s, then I got some from the 2020s. A whirlybird swoops from the sky into daring rescue action. Down, down goes the motor-driven chain and hook. And up comes the tank on its rescue plane, saved from battle danger. And that's not all. Every giant Remco whirlybird has a cargo hold and comes complete with an army of 25 troops, cannon, truck, jeep, and even a tank. So, um... Yeah, it's really funny. These are all finds I've made separately. I will admit we're about to see some figures that I did find online, but I'm going to consider them thrifted just because I got them for a really, really good price. So that's going to be here in this first bag. So pretty much almost everything in this bag I found at a antique store. Um, there is a local one just a town over to me that specializes in toys like it's an antique mall but it primarily uh does a lot of toys so let me go ahead and just dump out the contents here it's all just pouring on out and probably the first thing you see other than all the native americans is we got a timmy deuce and a half so uh in one of my discord members pointed out that this is one of the first original deuces and a half just because you can tell by the wheels uh, i actually didn't know that surprisingly enough uh, leave it to my discord to teach the plastic commander a thing or two but yeah really cool and see some rust right there on that metal but this is 
a, this was a really good find. I paid about $8 for this, which, um, that's really not that bad. Brand new, uh, you could buy these from Victory Buy Remade for a two pack for like 20 bucks. So I paid for, considering this one's vintage, I think that's more than fair, but it's really, really cool. What I did notice was there are no markings to indicate that it was made by Timmy, uh, at all because uh, the lady at the cash register was like, oh, <laughs> we have a bunch of those. I was like, oh yeah, well this one's made by this company. And she was like, how can you tell? And I was like, oh, by looking at it, I guess, I don't know. I really <laughs> like other than the design, of course it's obvious to us, it's Timmy. I just couldn't find a way to convey to this lady. Oh yeah, this is how I know this. But anyway, setting the deuce and a half to the side, that was a really fantastic find by the way. Um, I was really stoked about that. We got a bunch of Native Americans, mostly NPC Native Americans. So this one right here, which got a mold defect, that's a lot of flashing. But these are NPC, you're probably having a flashback to my Hel um, Wild West special that is almost a year old, surprisingly enough. It's about nine months old now. And of course we can tell by seeing the NPC logo right there. Uh, I also got these painted Native American gentlemen. I, I'm not sure who made these at all. I couldn't find any markings. I've never seen them before, uh, but still. We also got a few ideal, ideal toys, Native Americans, although these are clearly reproductions. In fact, I think if we looked at the bottom, yeah, made in China. However, these are still vintage nonetheless. So let me, guys, let me know, guys, if this camera is a lot better than my old one, uh, by the way. But yeah, we got a bunch of knockoff ideal Native Americans. We got some more mixed in. We also got an NPC tribesman, which this doesn't look like one of the Zulu tribesmen. Um, most of you guys know what those look like. Um, this is a ring hand figure, and I've never seen this one before. And of course, it's also made by NPC. Um, yeah, back in the day, like toy army men companies, or toy companies in general, just assumed children were really good with like accessories, like weapons and stuff. That's why when you look at a Mark's Battleground play set, like if you look at a full one laid out, it came with guns, it came with like little mines, it came with, it came with all sorts of crap, right? Like, and they just were under this assumption that kids would just keep up with it. There's also this guy right here who's missing a foot. So I'm going to call him uh, Wigged Footless. I don't know. I don't know native names at all. That was probably a really insensitive joke, but I don't really care. And we got a sheriff missing his hand here. I really like this real rustic color. It looks really nice. Uh, of course, y'all know me. I love maroon, earthy tones, and rustic, rustic tones. Of course, MTC. Then we got this guy right here. Looks like he's about to pull a Rambo and jump down and kill that cowboy. And then, uh-oh, here comes Big Jimmy slinging around his leg, knocking him out of the park. I actually don't know what company made this cowboy right here. I believe it's NPC. I've seen a lot of these bigger cowboys that are obviously not marked, so I'm fairly certain they're made by NPC. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just assuming because it's a lot of NPC stuff, as well as this tit right here, uh, which is very nicely detailed. Uh, it says made in China, so it's obviously from the knockoff ideal figures, which we still got a bunch of. Got this guy who needs to be up on a horse. Very beautifully sculpted. And in the back, I'm hiding the goods from you, so let me wave all these cowboys and indians out of the way to show you the vintage marks figures i scored so these were actually not found in a flea market or antique store or anything i actually picked these up online but i got them for a really really fair deal about 30 dollars for all of them which is about 26 figures and if you know anything about vintage marks figures you know that the japanese soldiers are worth a lot more than the uh, Germans and Americans. So, of course, we see the Marks logo down here. Now, there are some companies out there that will remake, if I can just get it to focus real quick so y'all can see that. 
if I could just get it to focus real quick so y'all can see that. If I could just get it to focus real quick so y'all could see that. That's as good as it's getting. This here, this is as good as it gets. If I bring it forward closer in any way, it's just gonna, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna focus at all. So, oh well, y'all are missing out already with this new phone I just got. But yeah, uh, the main reason that I got this set was primarily because of one gentleman that I didn't have that was an American. Let me see if I can pluck him out of here. Uh, if he's hiding, there he is. This guy. I actually did not have one of these guys. We're getting shot, helmet flying off, pistol falling out of the hand. And that was, this is something I love about Glencoe Marks. It's just the fact that you got so much variety. Oh my. Listen to that thunder. Um, yeah, so much variety out of their figures. You got so many different ones that were multifunctional. And if you look right up in here, one thing I never realized about this guy is that I'm not playing this game. <laughs> you can faintly make out, if I aim him towards the light, you can see he has internals inside of his helmet. He has the little uh, straps that keep his helmet on, which is amazing. I can't believe they thought of just designing it that way. So it really speaks to the craftsmanship you got out of Marks. And of course, the Japanese figures are super special. Uh, I did a video a while back on the Marks Japanese figures and how they're kind of they're kind of comically racy, like especially this guy right here. This yeah, look at that. It's ridiculous. It's comical. Like I said, it's comical. But yeah, these were all in great condition. They were all still pretty much together usually like you get broken knives broken bayonet points but whoever had these just took real good care of them already just stuffed them aside for 50 years and now here they are owned by a clinically depressed alcoholic who likes to buy toy army men with all his spare money so very cool right here is a glen Marks marine um it's different from the army soldiers just a little bit these came into sets with the japanese so these are also the ones that bmc remade and honestly i would love for bmc to go ahead and do the u.s army infantry i don't know what's stopping them uh because I'm pretty sure all the molds are owned by Kellogg's, because Kellogg's, as you know, in the 80s bought out Glencoe Marks. So they need to find a way to strike some kind of deal to get those molds, because that would be amazing if we got reproductions of those. But I'm gonna go ahead and shove these guys, because up next, we're gonna look at some figures from the 2000s. I wanna grow up, do wanna grow up. I don't wanna grow up, do wanna grow up. I don't wanna grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million toys at Toys R Us that I can play with. From bikes to trains to video games, it's the biggest toy store there is. Flip all of that over and oh this is this was a really big in fact i'm gonna raise the camera up and i'm just gonna aim it into the box okay so um there's some jets in here i actually bought these separately i just put them in here for storage but yeah we got some army men from the 2000s along with a bunch of other stuff as well and i actually have give me one moment Ooh, giant buckets of stuff and they're overflowing. This was all for one purchase I made for about $20, which is a really, really good deal considering everything we got here. So some of the odds and ends, I got this Millennium Falcon, looks like a McDonald's toy. Uh, I'm just gonna probably donate that to be honest, as well as this guy right here who, yep, he has a head all right, um, but other than that, there's a lot of really cool stuff in here. 
This right here, I have no idea what the heck this is. Like, looks like it's to like a Pirates of the Caribbean toy, maybe? Like, it, there's some writing right there. Let me look. Disney, copyright Disney, made in China. So I'm guessing it's like a McDonald's toy for like the Golden Compass or something. I don't know. Honestly, it kind of scares me, all those women staring at me. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and that thing's just looking at me right in my face and it really makes me feel uncomfortable. But part of the reason I was really happy to get this lot was because I got a bunch of Airfix clones. And these are some of the higher quality Airfix clones that they made back in the 90s. Um, I actually had some of these as a kid and I, of course, don't have them anymore. So it was real nice to get some of these. And also we got some vintage Imperial so, Imperial, they made the army bin that Walmart sold for, like, the last two decades, literally, uh, from when I was a child to just a few years ago. And you may remember they first started making their tan figures this really, really bright yellow color. So, uh, really cool to get some more of these. Here's another right here. So, they only did these... Um, really bright colored figures for a few years in fact i know imperial actually made a lot of timmy figures in a lot of other different colors as well i had some they were just real hard to find but anyway got this take right here this of course comes with the uh airfix clothes i actually saw the bucket that all these came in i should have got it but i didn't but a lot of stuff in here some more Wild West Cowboys and Indians. And there are also some actual vintage Timmy um, Cowboys and Indians in here as well, along with just some regular uh, dollar store clones. These actually are made by Imperial now that I'm looking at them. I think I'm gonna flip them up right here. Yeah, these are actually made by Imperial. Walmart actually sold these, so it's really nice. I remember when Walmart had a really big variety of army men growing up. They had cops and robbers and construction workers, which that's why I got right here, which I was real glad to get some construction workers. I haven't seen these guys in years and years and years. So, and of course, we got the jackhammer and the guy with the uh, divorce going on i'm going to assume they're construction workers they they're used to it uh we also got this guy right here who i've worked with a couple of people who look like this and they weren't very trustworthy if i'm gonna be odd if i'm gonna be honest like they weren't the kind of people i would suggest hanging around uh th this guy right here just look at that face the face of evil and quite honestly i'm not gonna leave him out of my sight because i'm fairly certain he'll commit some kind of hate crime or something or another. So we got some animals as well. These were also made by Imperial. They sold big bags of animals too. Just literally, they had such a great variety back in the day when I was growing up. You could walk in and you could buy like three different bags every day for like two weeks and you would just get different stuff and all of them. Like it was awesome. So more Airfix, that's what it mostly is. Just these Airfix clones, construction workers, cowboys and Indians. And it was a real blast from the past, because as y'all know, I'm 25, so these were the army that I grew up with right here. We also got some true heroes, like some really old true heroes. Of course, they still make these true heroes figures. Um, it's just a different brand. So you can actually find those on Amazon. Um, I actually heard recently they got taken down, but I think they're back up, so keep your eye open, because that just happens. These are also real dirty. I gotta clean these, but that just means they were played with and they were uh, enjoyed for many, many years. You got a bridge right here, really, really cool. Let me see if there's anything different. Mm, more material. A lot of these animals, like I said, it was like a safari bag, which I had. And then they had like a farm bag with horses and stuff. Although I don't think that's what this is from right here, this little horsey. Little, little horsey. But, yeah, it looks like it's it. Um, some Lego was also mixed in here. Some vintage Lego. And also a Nerf magazine. So I actually have a small collection of Nerf guns. So this was actually a really cool find. Um, I'll make a video showing off some of my other toys that I own. But yeah, that just about does it. So, 2000s, 1990s. This was my era. Oh, yeah, also, there's... <laughs> 
Star Wars Mission Fleet, which if you are near an Ollie's run, don't walk if you're into Star Wars Mission Fleet because they got a bunch of Star Wars Mission Fleet right now. In fact, I want to do a video on Star Wars Mission Fleet in the future, and I have stockpiled a buttload of these guys. And I'm talking the prices are ridiculous right now. Like the ships, like Bo-Katan ship, which is normally 20 bucks, $5. Like ridiculously slash prices. I bought like six of them. I have a fleet of those fighters. I've been building like fleets and stuff with them. Thank you. My cat just sneezed. Um, also, I got some toy borders. So that was actually mixed in there. I actually got two bags of toy borders. So, I don't think there's any in here though. But, I'm gonna go ahead and just put these back to the side. And, let me pick up all of these figures just really, really quick. Ah, I just don't like that ASMR. Who would have thought the Plastic Vander was also a borderline ASMR channel? Just gonna pick all of these little bits and bobs and doodads up. Uh, dump them in the box. Da da da. But yeah, the flea market, as well as antique stores and thrift stores, are just really great places to go um, to find Arby Bin. And I used to not look for Arby Bin at the thrift store. Um, flea market's a little bit different. You have a lot better luck there, in my opinion. But yeah, I used to not look at thrift stores, mostly because it's just that Arby Bin are one of those things people just tend to throw away. Which brings us to our next box of crap that we got. I'm gonna open this chest and there's nothing in here. In fact, what is this chest? It says China, but I don't know what it goes to. But 2020, so in this, we got a bunch of figures that are made by IQ Toys and they are specifically the clones of the clones of the Hing Fat Bucket. Yeah, they clone the Hing Fat clones. So, as you know, if you watch my video on the big Kahuna itself, the Hing Fat bucket, uh, it's a 200 piece bucket of, of World War II figures. They have Germans, they have Japanese, and they have British, and of course, they have Americans. So, this is a they made their own version at IQ Toys, and they sold it for quite a few years. Uh, of these figures and honestly they're not very high quality to say the least like yeah this is worse than the original bucket so the original king fat bucket the molds were real uh kind of lackluster I mean, they updated it just a few years ago so now they're all new and better looking supposedly there's some people who prefer the old some prefer the new yeah we got japanese soldiers British officers. I love having more yellow figures. In fact, I've been building up my yellow army um, for quite a while now, just bit by bit. I'm real proud of it. On top of that, we got one of those Amazon play sets with the painted army in. Very interesting. So it looks like whatever kid lost all their stuff, their mom just bought all of their stuff off Amazon. So yeah, these are interesting. These are actually clones of Fischl, uh, Army Men. So Fischl is a company based in the UK and their figures are mostly sold in like uh, the UK, of course, why wouldn't they be? As well as Canada. And they're real hard to get here in the US, but if you ever see a lot online, um, I actually bought like only 10 of them and it cost me like $15. So uh, like I said, real difficult to find here. Uh, here's a clone of one of the Desert Storm figures right here. Yeah, really, really cool. We got a German officer. And there was also a pirate playset mixed in here. So I don't know who makes this pirate playset. Although I really, really like it. I like these molds, especially this one pirate dude with the abs. His shirt's ripped open, rocking the flintlock. Looks like he's gonna go commit some crimes that pirates normally commit, like loitering, 
for instance. I don't really know what pirates do. There's another one. They can sword fight. Ah, take that. See how that affects your credit score, or yard, or whatever pirates say. Like I know, I don't know much about pirates. Yeah, this guy right here, the hook hand. You know, what did they do when that got rusty? They're out in the ocean, the seawater probably ate right through that. What, did they just get another? Were they that common? Were hook hands just a common thing? Apparently. Huh. Just some food for thought. But also mixed in here, there's a airplane game. There was actually a bag of airplanes that went with those figures. Because it's like a vehicle set. I know which set it is. I've seen it online. And of course, I've never gotten it just because it's... You're going to laugh at me when I say this. kind of kiddish. <laughs> it's not like normally what I would go for. but And I got this bag specifically mostly because I wanted to do this video. And also because I, I actually like these molds. But, um, yeah. What I hate about army men these days, and this is a complaint. Okay, so let me go back. Here is what an army men truck in the 60s was in your army men play set. And this is what you get today. Let's just do it. Yeah, look at that. And if we just take a figure and put them side by side... Yeah, that's like an actual 132 scale truck. This right here, this is like a clown car. It's ridiculous. Like, are you in sets today are so, the commander's going on a rant here. They're so focused on cramming pieces in, especially these cheapo Chinese sets. Like, oh yeah, come get this 400 piece play set. Yeah, and then like 300 of the pieces are crap. They're crappy little knockoff die-cast vehicles that are basically, this is 172 scale, if anything. In fact, it's too small to be that. These crappy vehicles, like imagine these, but closer to like 132. Like, let's say they were 140 even. Like you could, that would really be nice. Like I would settle for it having less vehicles if the vehicles we got were just a decent size. It's so frustrating. At least the pirate playset got it right with a little rowboat. This makes sense. There you go, sailing off to go commit tax evasion or whatever pirates do. Like I said, I don't know much about pirates. But we did get this cool battleship. Uh, one thing I do like about some of these sets though, they do come with these like battleships right here, like aircraft carriers and stuff. And I really like these, even though they're real small. Uh, I've seen a lot of people online who do wargaming with these, especially the one that uh, Sunny Days Entertainment made, which I have two of those buckets. I haven't reviewed them, though. Uh, if you watched my collection video, you probably saw them on the Commander Corps shelf at the very bottom. But yeah, little Dollar General action figure. This brings back a lot of memories. I had a whole, whole bu bunch of these. Uh, there was nothing more fun being a kid than going to the dollar store with ten dollars to spend and just buying a bunch of crap. What I usually like to buy from the Dollar General, especially, was the uh, G.I. Joe action figures they sold there. If you remember, uh, way back in the day, they sold these G.I. Joes for like three bucks each, and they were a really good bargain. They were really decent quality. I actually saw some at my local... Uh, game store still in the package. I debated getting them just for the nostalgia of them. But, um, yeah, so 2020s. I'm not going to say army men have gotten worse. I mean, I will. <laughs> like, I will. Um, I feel like what kids got in the 60s, like, let's go ahead and do, like, a comparison. So, let me just find a decent figure. Okay, here we go. So 1960s right here, 1990s, 2000s, and then let me just, hold on, I'm finding a crappier one to make my point more sound, <laughs> and 2020s, so, and you just compare and contrast just these that are just about 30 years apart, we get so much more detail out of this guy and you can sit here and say it's because like the toy companies aren't in america anymore but i feel like it's just cheapness all around i feel like 
toy companies, because a lot of them are still owned by American companies like Hasbro, for example, just don't care as much, especially army men companies. And it could be because they just think kids don't play with army men anymore. I disagree. I've met plenty of children uh, that play with toy army men still. Oh, I didn't see this. This is like a dragon head Lego piece. That's actually really cool. I wonder if this piece is worth anything. I'm actually not the Google that, so I can resell it. But, um, yeah, like, this one was made by IQ Toys, and I remember seeing it way back in the day on Amazon. Uh, not way back in the day, what am I saying? Like, two years ago. I guess that is kind of way back in the day. And everyone who bought it was just complaining about it and ripping it a new one because the quality was so terrible. It was like someone's pet chihuahua got into this one, shoot up a bunch of them. Already came that way, who knows? Because these are, like, the plastic is real rubbery. Like, it's real rubbery, and not in a good way, because, like, Marks and Timmy, their figures were made out of a high-quality PVC plastic, so even though it's real strong and sturdy, you still got some movement out of it, just, like, a little bit. Um, but still, it's not, like, bendy-bendy, but still, it's real, real sturdy still. You're not gonna really mess them up. These guys right here, I feel like they can very easily get warped they're just kind of cruddy. But anyway, guys, uh, three different Thrift Store finds. Um, let me know if you want to see more episodes of Thrifted. Sorry this one took so long to get out. Uh, I've just been having a lot of stuff going on lately. As y'all know, I got that new job, and it's just been running me absolutely ragged. But anyway, definitely stay tuned for more content. I may have another thrifted coming out soon. I'm going to the world's largest flea market and I may make a video on that just going to it as well. So let me know if you want to see that. But anyway guys, I'm the Plastic Commander. Thanks for watching. Man, these army men suck.